Hola, buenas tardes. Good afternoon, my beautiful people. It's Daniela, Miss Four Lizard. Um, welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for another planning video. I am so excited to uh, be filming this video today. I just got my order from the Happy Planner literally 10 minutes ago. It arrived on my doorstep and I am shaking in my boots. I am so excited. Um, I placed a massive order on the Happy Planner website over their Memorial Day weekend sale. Um, everything on their website was 30% off, including sale items, and that is what I was kind of going for mostly. I've had a couple of items kind of on my wish list on their website for a while now, but I was just kind of waiting for like a good sale to really, you know, go all out. There's a lot of items on the website that I have never seen in store, I can't find in store, and I am someone who tends to shop in store 90% of the time. I don't really online shop as much. Um, I feel like I just just enjoy like going into the store more and not really, you know, having to pay extra for the shipping and all that. And I just am more of an in-store shopper than an online shopper for everything in my life. So I don't really normally shop on their website, but the Memorial Day sale was so amazing. 30% off everything, including sale items. So I just had to go ahead and place a massive order. So this is a pretty hefty order. I'm going to share all the goodies that I got and I'm just so excited to show you all that I got. I've been kind of wanting a lot of these items for a while now, so it's super, super cool to like finally have them in my hands. I'm so excited. So let's get into it. And I am so happy that today I had a half day of work, so I actually wrapped up work around noon and I was just doing household stuff, just kind of getting my life in order after like a crazy, another crazy work week. And I was just doing, you know, household chores and then I got my box and then I was so happy because I didn't have to wait until after work to really get into my box. Um, it wasn't just there tempting me. I could just jump into it. I, you know, threw everything to the side and I was like, I'm gonna film this video right now because I have been just like waiting and waiting and waiting for this box to finally get to my house. Um, I feel like every day I check on like the tracking order to make sure that it's not lost. Um, yeah, I, I've, I've had a package stolen from this house. I normally don't get packages stolen. I've only got one package stolen at my old house, which that one was really upsetting. It was a, a stove, like a camping stove from REI that was like $200. Thankfully, um, REI sent me, or uh, REI like gave me a new one and I didn't have to, you know, completely miss out on that. But I did have a package stolen from Costco at this new place. And so, and I just did not want this package to be stolen. So I was kind of just like on the lookout for it. So let's start off with the everything that's not sticker books. Maybe I should zoom in a little bit. Okay, so I picked up two disc sets. These are both um, medium plastic discs. I have never seen these like purple glittery discs in store before. They're stunning. They were only a few bucks because all of these items except for like one or two were already on clearance. These are all from their sale section which is their sale section is so awesome. So on top of the discount they were 30% off like on top of the discount that they already had being in on the sale like on the sale rack so so i got these purple glitter discs these are so so cute i can definitely see myself putting them on um the pressed florals horizontal planner and this is just my aesthetic so love them i also picked up these marbled teal discs they kind of remind me of like a teal version of those like rose marble discs that came on the Adventure Awaits Sawaro so Cactus um, dashboard planner a few years back. If you know, you know that planner is like my all time favorite planner. And these just had like such a cute little like pattern to them. And I'm not normally like someone who goes for blue shades, but I really do like teal a lot. So um, I'll, you know, I could see myself using these, particularly for summer. I like uh, teal. So I got two sets of discs and then I got the big 
paper punch um, in their from their homebody collection. So this was one that I was kind of eyeing for a while. I just love the design so much. It's so cute. Oh, look at that. Stunning. Amazing. Oh, she is the moment. And so stunning. Oh, I'm going to cut this off real quick. So I actually do have a punch, but it's kind of, it's the blue one, and it's kind of, uh, like, it's kind of sticking. Like, some of the, like, it hasn't been punching perfectly, and so I felt like it'd be fun to pick up another one just in case that one completely, like, spazzes out. And then this one is just so cute, you know, like, I had to get it, so. Um, I'll still keep my other punch, um, just, you know, to have two. Maybe I'll gift it to someone. But like I said, it hasn't been punching perfectly. So maybe I'll just hold on to it and, you know, just have two punches. But this one is stunning. Then I also picked up this Mickey Mouse color block um, large sticker pack. So I actually had purchased this one once before when this collection came out. And I used it up completely and I saw it was on sale plus the 30% off so it was just a few dollars and these are just huge um, paper stickers from their color block collection and I love them I think they're just so much fun so I had to pick up um, this pack here oh love that one so cute yeah love it love it love it so I picked up this pack here and actually, let me just do the one planner that I picked up. I just picked up one planner, and the rest of the order is sticker books. So I picked up um, this guy right here, which is the only thing I picked up from like their newer collection, I believe, um, for the sale. So this baby right here. Oh, and I also got this... Um, freebie freebie sticker you are a world changer born to shine and conquer cute so put that somewhere but um this is the teacher planner with like the tie-dye purple discs and the pastel rainbow cover and i got this for the discs of course and the cover i thought this is just like my aesthetic to a t love these like bright candy floss colors and the discs are stunning. I knew that I could definitely use those discs um, on several different planners. So I had to pick up this baby right here. She's so adorable. <gasps> Teachers can do anything. Yes, you can. I am a teacher. So it's perfect. Um, so there we go. Beautiful. Oh, amazing. Ah, this is off center. So... Oh, gorgeous. We have some teacher specific stuff in the beginning. Ooh, beautiful. So I like how they have this section here shaded with the little icon. We have some designs up and down the spine, and that kind of goes through the weeklies. It's a classic teacher layout. And then we get to September. Again, we have shading in this box, little icon there. And it seems like the pattern of the spine uh, changes up every single month. Cute, very cute. Readers gonna read, teach, mentor, instruct, influence, inspire, teacher help us grow, teachers can do anything, make today a good day. Ooh, that one's cute. The paper mate flares, the daisies, love it. I like this one a lot. The rainbow. And then at the end, we have some checklists. So definitely want to figure out how to use those um, to adapt them for like non-teacher things. Because although I am a teacher, I don't, I don't feel like I would use those for anything. I feel like they're like nice for grades and like students, but I keep track of all of that on like the university's uh, grade center. And I don't imagine I would ever use a paper 
version for that because it's so convenient to just do it on the grade center. So I got this one, love it so much. And I got a huge stack of sticker books. You know I had to go all out and yes, I did get two mega sticker books. So let me just move these to the side and show you the mega sticker books first. So I picked up the mega bright sticker book. This one was on clearance and then I got an additional 30% off on this one. So I believe this one was like $24 at the end of, you know, both sales, which is amazing. That's almost the price of like a regular sticker book, you know, full price. So I have never had this Brights sticker book, but um, I have the pastel one and I feel like it's really similar in terms of like stickers, but they're just in a much brighter hue. And I have used so many stickers from that pastel rainbow one. So I knew that I would get a lot of use out of this one. And what I love about these, um, these sticker books is that they're so like household based. So we have a lot of chores and errands and, you know, clean house and meal planning and really, really functional. But at the same time, there's so many like bright and fun stickers. So I love these little um, banners. We have tons of quotes, chores, uh, bill stickers. This thing has it all. We have work stickers, a bunch of habit trackers. These look like they're little like check marks, happy faces, quotes. Love the quotes in this one. Then in this one, we have a bunch of monthly boxes. Let's see what else. Oh, we have two pages of that. Two boxes, two pages of boxes. Um, boxes, full boxes, love those. I love these layered boxes, they're so bright. Checklists, ooh, love all these boxes. Full boxes, love those. Um, ooh, this one's nice. These are like dog stickers. Then we have some animal stickers, those are fun. A little happy discs, cute with little icon stickers for the kitchen. Those are gonna be great for meal prepping. Um, these look like little icon stickers for like printer, laptop. That'd be great for work. Um, just icon stickers and bright floral stickers. So I'm already in love with this one. So happy to have this one in my collection. I can get a lot of use out of that one. And then this baby right here. Um, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. This baby, I remember seeing it at Michael's and I was like, Oh, should I get it? Should I not? Should I get it? Should I not? And then I didn't get it. Ended up regretting it ever since. Never saw it in store after. And so I'm so happy to finally have this mega sticker book. I love this one. It has all the seasons. Um, so we have, wow, look at that. We have all kinds of icons and fonts. Mm, I think those are like summer ones, summer vacation, fall. So these are all quotes, icons. Wow, look at these Christmas ones. Vacation, we have some Halloween ones, the camping ones, letters. These look like Christmas ones. Skater girls, cookies, icons, flags, boxes, boxes, more alphabet. Ooh, love these. I always love like a good like hot cocoa sticker. Pumpkins. <gasps> fall so i feel like there's so they're kind of all mixed up together there's not like there's not like one section just for fall and one for winter so there's more fall stickers here full boxes halloween boxes love these alphabet um i missed those these look like ice cream icons for summer so summer icons summer icons love that flags um, boxes for summer, full boxes. Ooh, these are definitely Valentine's Day stickers. Yep, love that. Uh, St. Patrick's Day, alphabet fonts, flowers, flags. These are definitely spring stickers. Some nice full boxes, some um, long boxes. I feel like they have a lot for fall, summer, and winter, but they don't have a lot for spring, in my opinion. Is that just me? No, I feel like they definitely don't have that much for spring. 
that's fine. I feel like spring is the easiest one to, um, to like find stickers for. There's just so many floral stickers out there. Okay, so let's move on to the stack of regular sized sticker books I got. Like, look how many I got. I got so many. So these were all ones that I have never seen in store. And so I was just like so excited to, you know, order them because I feel like the stores that I go to that are near me don't have that great of selection. Also, um, a couple of these were just from later releases and I wasn't really into the Happy Planner. You know, I didn't start planning until like 2019 and so I feel like I missed out on a couple. This is one that I feel like I missed out on. This is the Marabou Design by Brandy Brown in their regular size. I found this one recently in the mini size at um, a Joann's near me, not even a local one, just one that was like in an hour, within an hour. <laughs> I went to it when I was uh, visiting my friend, but I found the mini one of this and I was so happy to, to find it, but I did really <laughs> wish uh, it was a classic size, but I picked this one up. This is the classic size, so it'll be nice to have the larger um, icons. So really, really cute. Love the color palette in this one. This one is really spring to me. Um, and so I'm just really happy to have this one. So I'm not gonna flip through, uh, give it like a detailed flip through of you know each sticker book, but I will quickly, you know, just show, show it off. So then we have Color Story Big. So I got this one for, this um, painterly pastel, I believe, is the name of this like aesthetic. I've never seen when this one in store. It has colorful leopard, which I always will use. I love me a colorful leopard. Um, I like how they have like a little bit of like several other sticker books in this color story. I feel like a lot of the time their color story sticker books have um, like you know four to five color stories, but they're not necessarily from like other sticker books, if that makes sense. But I like that this one, the included like um, sticker styles from previously released sticker books. So that way, in case you like didn't want to pick up like all of those sticker books, but you did want, you know, a couple of pages from each one, you could buy a color story. I wish they would do that more. So this is the whole reason I picked up this sticker book. This aesthetic, the style, this collection, the painterly pastels, one of my all-time favorite sticker themes, but I don't think they ever released like an entire sticker book of just this design. But for me, it's like so stunning and beautiful. It's something about the colors that I just really enjoy. I actually have um, an accessory pack from this like painterly pastels, and I also have the classic sized color block planner as well. So really, really enjoy this aesthetic so much. Oh, beautiful. I wish that they would come out with this full size sticker book of this one, as well as um, just like more more items from this collection. I really regret not picking up the mini. Um, painterly pastel sticker book. I mean the mini planner. They came out with a mini planner as well and I really wanted it but back then I wasn't really using minis and so I just didn't pick it up and I have never seen it since. So this sticker book is... which one is this one? I know that they released a planner with this design, uh, Le More La Vie on it, but I don't know whether they released like a whole sticker book. It seems like it's seasonal. Yeah, it seems very seasonal, which is interesting that they would put that in a um, color story. And then we have Indigo. So they released like a whole collection, including a full sticker book for this one. This one's all right. <laughs> you know how I feel about blue. It's just not my thing, but maybe I will try to do a blue spread um, just to use these stickers. Oh, that's nice. And then we have pressed florals. Beautiful. I can always use pressed florals. And it's nice to have it like in a big style. Gorgeous. Love pressed florals. I actually <laughs> repurchased 
the Press Florals sticker book because I had finished it and I wanted it again. So it's nice to have more Press Florals in my life. So that's the only one I think I will like give more of a detailed um, flip through. So next I have two Wrong Wrong Everyday sticker books. One is in the classic size and one is in the mini size. And I picked up both because the Wrong Wrong sticker books were really heavily discounted. So I think I paid only like seven dollars for each one seven or eight dollars for each one of these guys and i love rong rong i love her style love her design and so i figured that i could definitely use both and i'm always on the lookout for like good mini sticker books now that i use a mini and also because my desk pad is is i it it's small so it fits mini stickers really well so i'll flip through the this one kind of side by side to show you like the difference but so again, this one's the mini here. So we have just gold foiled boxes, really, really functional. And like uh, the, the name of the sticker book suggests, these are all really like everyday type of stickers. There's household stickers, appointments. I love all the designs, love all the foil. Love when they give us coffee stickers. So we have some functional boxes, kind of in the red and orange theme. Pretty, really pretty. I wonder if they're gonna give us different like color themes. So we're here in the like reds, oranges, yellows, and pinks. And yep, here we get into the blues and greens. That's pretty. So lots of boxes, really, really functional. I'm happy about this. And then we're getting into the pinks and purples. Ooh, beautiful. Definitely see myself getting a lot of use out of these babies right here. Some icons. I love those date night stickers. Um, oops, let me try to get these into frame. I am so sorry if I'm not in frame throughout this video. It's kind of hard to be like completely in frame all the time. Oop kind of hard to flip both at the same time. The pages are also kind of stuck together. So we have just boxes. These are more like fun, bright colors. Um, and then we get into black boxes. So yeah, just a couple of pages of those just plain black boxes. <gasps> These are so functional, really, really functional. That's awesome. There's so many boxes in this one, in both of these, and I love me some boxes. So I have those babies right there. And then next we have a fitness sticker book. This is one of their older sticker books. As you can see, like it still has like the older logo on it. And it's definitely in that old school style of sticker book. And I pick up every single fitness sticker book that I can possibly get my hands on because um, they're just so nice. Um, and I really, really am like dedicated and uh, committed to my fitness, you know, journey and program. And so I really like to use fitness stickers. Um, I feel like it's the one planner that, I mean, it's the first planner I ever picked up from the Happy Planner, and it's, I feel, one that I'm always going to have in my routine no matter what. So, love all of these functional stickers. This is awesome. This is actually really, really fantastic. Um, we have a bunch of meal planning stickers. I love these so much. This might be like, this might even beat like the other fitness sticker book that I really like. This baby right here. This is like my all time favorite fitness sticker book from the Happy Planner, but this one is really giving it a run for its money because for fitness sticker books, I like a lot of small little icons and oh, love these wellness reports. Um, like I love these type of stickers where it's just like cardio, arms, legs, abs, cool down, and like cardio, workout, yoga, walk, walk. Um, I just like a lot smaller stickers and I feel like their newer sticker books have a lot more like decorative stickers than they have like these smaller like icon stickers. Like all these calories burned boxes. 
This one's awesome. I'm so looking forward to getting into this one. I should have picked up two. <laughs> okay, moving on. Should I zoom in? Or am I already zoomed in enough? <gasps> this is one that I've been like eyeing for forever. This one is a food sticker book. And I think this is gonna be perfect for my meal planner. Um, let's see, yeah, it's so it's just food related. We have like favorite recipe, I'm really loving this, a bunch of decorative stickers, taco night, pizza night, slow cooking. I am really getting back into my meal planning and uh, just trying to be a better cook. My mom is an awesome cook. She actually, like that's like her career. She's a fine dining cook and she's like an awesome cook. And I can barely, I can barely do the bare minimum. Um, I'm not terrible, but I'm not amazing. <laughs> um, but I'm trying to just be a better cook and learn how to cook and just try to be comfortable in the kitchen and the meal planning and prepping is really working for me and so um i've been wanting to get like another like recipe sticker book but they're like the recipe sticker book that they have like out like this one right here it's not my favorite i don't think it's that good honestly and this is exactly what i am like what i want from a food sticker book so we have meal planning stickers icons some fonts more cute clear stickers amazing uh beautiful love it so much so happy um i picked this one up and then we have wellness warrior and it's interesting it has this like funky uh logo here i don't know when did they do that logo i must have missed this one i feel like this one came out like not super recently but also not like super og and i remember really like liking it but i never found it in stores except for i found a mini size one time randomly in the joann's like randomly that's the only time i ever saw this collection is that one random like mini sticker book and it was not that long ago like a couple months ago and it was on clearance so i picked that one up but i love wellness sticker books a lot. I definitely always want to have a couple of wellness sticker books with me so that it motivates me, reminds me to, um, you know, take care of myself because I tend to overwork myself. I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm a, what's it called? I'm a, my boyfriend sometimes calls me a workaholic and I, I feel like that's not wrong, I, but I do enjoy what I do. I do like making money, I like advancing my career, and I like, you know, keeping myself busy. But I do overcommit myself, and then I have to, you know, fulfill my obligations, and then I end up burning myself out a little bit, and then I like, you know, rest for a while, and then I, the whole cycle repeats. And this is just like a really nice reminder to, um you know it's okay to you know have a heavy workload if you choose that route but it's also really important to maintain your wellness so wellness warrior for the win and then this is a book that i feel like is so beloved in the happy planner community and i was never really into it until Recently, I started really appreciating the Squad Girls, and this is Squad Life, and it seems like pretty seasonal. It's very cute. Um, it kind of has that old school like Happy Planner vibe. They're just really cute. I love the fall, um, the fall Squad Life stickers. Beautiful, lots of foil. I love these pages that are really functional. Lots of labels, some boxes, some checklists, all in these coordinating colors. Christmas, these are cute. I feel like I have to give credit to Happy to Plan with Desiree for really <laughs> uh, convincing me that these these uh, squad life girls are like super cute. I feel like I was not super into them until like i really started to watch her channel and see like what she did with these stickers and they're just so much fun 
this makes me so happy like flipping through it i really came around to the squad life girls and i am sold throw the receipt away i am buying it as um nina bonina brown likes to say oh my god i am parched from so much talking uh whew. I wonder how long this video is going to be. It's going to be so long. It's going to be like a Lord of the Rings extended director's cut, but we have four more sticker books left. So stick with me. I hope you're enjoying this massive happy planner haul. So this is a repurchase. I picked up a backup of the Wrong Wrong Fitness. I purchased this. Um, when did I buy this? I... Um, Oh, when I, when I picked, when I placed my order not too long ago for all of, like the new back to school stuff, I picked up one of these guys and I like flipped through it and I loved it so much that I knew that I wanted a backup. So I bought a backup. Beautiful. As I said, like I'm super committed to my fitness and, um, it's just having these sticker books really motivates me to get out there and, you know do my thing and so these girls are just beautiful they're all boss babes super inspiring this one is a really good sticker a fitness sticker book as well like i would say that i am super like uh tied between this this one this fitness sticker book this og one and this one right here so these three are like my all-time favorite fitness sticker books and um i feel like the newer ones are not that good yes i have work it out as well and, and i think there's another one but i don't i forget what it's called and i i almost finished that one so i ended up just like tossing the like the last couple of pages into like a like a deconstructed like catch-all sticker graveyard thing so this work it out it's just not my favorite I've used quite a bit of it, but yeah, I feel like it's not not as good. It's not as good as um, as these three. And I think the other one that I'm missing, I forget what it's called, but I think that one is even better than this one. This one's like the worst one, the work it out. So that is to say that I picked up another fitness sticker book. And then the next one up is Everyday Mini from Wrong Wrong. Again, I just picked up like everything Wrong Wrong because it was all on clearance and I love Wrong Wrong. And this one is Everyday Mini, but I also have, I also picked up Everyday Mini, but this one's 885 pieces. This one's 889. And they're slightly different in terms of design. So I don't know what's going on. Are they exactly the same? <gasps> they're exactly the same. They can't be. <gasps> Let's go page by page and see how similar they are. So, so far they're exactly the same. Oh no, they're not exactly the same. The font is a little bit different. This one is like cursive, and this one is kind of like more of a, a standard font. The icons are different. The shopping bag is different. This one, we have brunch. This one, we have cheers. This one, the donut is pink. This one, the donut is purple. I feel like I'm playing one of those games where they like show you really two similar pictures and they're like, spot the differences. This one says dinner plans and has a burger and fries. This one says dinner plans and has two girls. So there's slight differences. Okay, here we have some differences. We have two like quote boxes. These are all just like functional boxes. Interesting, very interesting. This one, pretty similar. There's some differences. This one has florals. This one has sunglasses. Well, that's good that they're not exactly the same, so that way I don't have like two exactly same sticker books, but they are really similar. This one says night out with a lipstick. This one says night out with a little martini glass. This one says lunch date with a pretzel. This one has a croissant. Dinner plans again with the burger and fries. This one with the girls. The shopping bag is different. This one says cheers and this one says brunch. And then again, instead of these like full decorative boxes, we have just plain 
um, plain like functional boxes. So it would be fun to use these in combination with each other because it kind of like expands, you know, like the options available in each color palette. So again, the font is different. This one's cursive. This one's more of a sans serif font. This one looks pretty similar. And then it's more circle icon stickers. Again, some of the icons are different. Some of the girls are different. Similar uh, thing going on here. This one has three full boxes. These are all functional. Really similar page here. These are, um, again, just different in the fonts and some of the girls are different too. Icon stickers. I like how this sticker book has these like really distinct color stories. So we went from like the reds and oranges and yellows to like the, the, uh, to the greens and blues. And then this one is the pinks and purples. Love it. You know which one my favorite is, right? This one, the pinks and the purples. Of course. Ah! Okay. So, again, we have some icon stickers. And then this last color story is kind of like pink, indigo, orange, and teal. So it's an interesting one. It's pops it yellow. So yeah, I would say they're definitely different, but they're definitely similar as well. I would say like the, um, the differences are subtle. They're definitely subtle. Um, yeah, I don't think I would have gotten both of them if I knew that um, they were so similar. That's kind of on me though. I should have <laughs> I should have looked closely at the uh, like the sticker designs for each one. But I saw that the covers were different, and I like automatically just assumed that they were going to be quite different. But I'm happy to have both. Definitely can always use wrong wrong stickers. And then the last two sticker books I picked up. This is one that I've been eyeing for forever. It's the Celebrate sticker book. And it's all about the parties. I actually have the planner that kind of like goes along with this theme, like the Celebrate um, planner. It was a line vertical. Love this so much. Love me a party. Ugh, love these full boxes. Some icons. Ugh balloons, banners, balloons, clear quotes, some boxes, some cake icons. Ugh, it's always nice to have some um, some party stickers. Love these balloons so much. They're so pretty. Then we have some clear like script stickers. Uh, these are just nice. Uh, these are nice because they're really particular to like planning a party. So that's fun invitations, decorations, happy, happy, happy. Wow, love it so much. Love it. Lots of fun bright colors here. Some monthly boxes, some nice like half boxes, some nice confetti and balloons. Yep, love it. I can always pull for these stickers for like birthday spreads and just like general party spreads. So happy to have that one. And then the last sticker book. This video has been so long. Oh my goodness. This is the Southern Farmhouse sticker book. This is one that I was eyeing for a while as well. And I just never, you know, bit the bullet and picked it up. But it was on sale. Um, it was already on clearance when I picked it up. Almost all of these items were, were already in the sale section of the website. And on top of that, like, 30% um, off, 40% off, they were an additional 30% off. So all the sticker books were about eight, nine, um, ten dollars So I like this one a lot because again, I love anything farmhouse, but I also really like this color palette. It's very muted, it's very homey, and I love these like farmhouse photographs. I think this one will pair really well with um, the Mickey farmhouse collection which just came out um and i have one of the sticker books from that collection so i think it'll be really nice to pair with that one we have some weekend plan stickers some beautiful full boxes really functional boxes some circle stickers 
menu plan, brain dump boxes. Yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful. And I also love whenever sticker books come out with like coffee icons or coffee stickers because you know, a girl loves her coffee. So I'm actually, you should see my shirt right now. It says, Dame mas cafeína, which translates to give me more caffeine. Although sometimes like, I feel like I have to take a break from coffee because it can get addicting. Kinda wanna take a break from coffee soon. Some clear quotes, some more icon. Ooh, beautiful. This one's gorgeous. Love the color story. I'm gonna have so much fun with that one. And that is it, my beautiful people. Can you believe how crazy and insane this haul was? I definitely spent quite a bit of money on the Happy Planner website, but you know, um, some girls buy Louboutins, some girls buy BMWs, some girls buy sticker books. You know, you just, you gotta, you gotta treat yourself sometimes. All right, my throat is so dry from just chattering so much. Um, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this massive haul. Let me know if you picked up anything from that massive Memorial Day 30% um, off site-wide sale. I would love to know. And let me know if you have any of these sticker books I picked up and, you know, how you feel about them. I would love to know. And with that, I'll let you go get on with your day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe, stay blessed, um, and happy planning. Bye!